Mom! Hey! Let me take those. <laughs> hey, hmm? why have you been coming home so often lately, huh? Tell me the truth, dear. Is there anything you want to ask me? Can I just come home for no reason? Isn't this also my house? Hmm? Oh, come on. <laughs> hey, why isn't Song Ling with you? Huh? It seems unreasonable. Come on, don't be so tough on him, Mom. You might scare him away. How dare you threaten me? <laughs> Lei! Good morning, Mrs. Liu. Oh, Zhou Fang, you're back. Hi. What a rare treat to have you around town. The famous designer. Oh, no, I still have a long way to go. <laughs> the way I see it, you shouldn't work so hard. Ina was a woman. Don't be so powerful. You'll end up scaring men away. I mean, look at my daughter. Now, she's a great housewife. And she's agreeable and very happy. <laughs> Sorry, I was making a call. Give that to me. Was it too heavy? Not really. Auntie, I'll come pick you up when you go to the supermarket again. Oh, no. But, dear, you're so busy at work. You don't have to. I don't trouble you with something like that. Work's not as important as you. <laughs> call if you go there. I'll come right away. Oh, you're such a sweetheart. Well, if you insist, I'll call you when I Why do. Why do I have the feeling I've seen you before somewhere? Oh, really? Uh, have you ever been on TV? Ah, several times because of work. I remember now. Lee, isn't this man that powerful big boss? Oh, big boss. I can't believe it. He's actually here in the flesh. <laughs> A triple threat, young, promising, and good-looking, and excellent young man. It's great. Oh, no. I always feel like I'm not good enough for Zhou Feng. Am I right? Yes, you are. You're quite outstanding. No, the two of you are both outstanding. So, if a woman becomes confident and outstanding by herself, then she'll be able to attract and find herself an outstanding boyfriend. <laughs> right? Let's go home now. Okay. Sure. Come Let's on. Go back. See you, Mrs. Yes, yeah. good to see you. Goodbye, her. Auntie. Goodbye. Let's go home. Auntie, teach me how to cook. Joe Fang doesn't like my cooking. Mrs. Liu is generally a good person. It's just her manner of speaking. Especially after she had her first grandchild, she never stops talking to me about marriage and family. It's annoying. It seems Song Ling arrived at just the right time. Did he make you proud, Mom? I suppose you behaved well today. You did a good job. Thanks. Auntie, these days, do you still dance? I do, once in a while. Next time you go dancing, bring me with you. I'll make you proud. So you can even do square dancing? Is there anything I can't do? Uh, well, you know what? If you go dancing with me, you'll be very welcome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, hey. I hope you come by every day. Oh, yeah? I'm bored of this book already, and I need a real opponent. I'm so sorry, but lately, I've been so busy. Song. Yeah. How about we play one round? Come on. Sure, all right. <laughs> what are you doing? You can't just take him away. We're playing Go. What's wrong with that? Song promised me he'd cook for us, so we're doing that first. Look at you now. You've changed so much. You're even fighting over him now. Who said I was fighting? Fine, I won't argue with you. All right, then. Let Song decide. You tell us what you want to do. Will you play go with him, or will you stay here and cook with us? Well, I... I can just do both. What are you looking at? Nobody wants me here. I'm not hot like you. <laughs> uh, well, I... Uncle, I'll cook first. We have to eat. That's correct. I'm you sorry. have to eat before you can play your round. <laughs> right, Honestly, dear. <laughs> now show us. Time to cook. All right, here we go. <laughs> right this way. Mrs. Tian, take the main seat. No, no, no. You should Please, sit there. Please, Mrs. You should take, it. take the main seat. All right, thank you. Can sit you. here. Yes, okay. I'll sit here. Oh, time flies so fast, doesn't it? <sighs> it's been almost ten years since we last met. Oh, that's right. Look at you. After all these years, the two of you are still so young. You haven't changed at all. Oh, stop it. I mean, look at our kids. They're ready to get married now. How could we not get older, right? <laughs> oh, that's right. I heard from Lin Lin. You had surgery a few months ago. Are you doing better now, Mr. Chin? Yes, I'm better. And as long as I go to the checkups, I'll be fine. Thank you. During that time, Zhuo had helped us out a lot. We really appreciate that. He was so responsible. Oh. Oh. Well, he's supposed to. As a man, he should shoulder responsibility. And in the future, if there's anything you need, just feel free to ask him. <sighs> Your son is more mature than most other kids his age. Mrs. Tin, that's all due to your parenting. Oh, thanks. Hey, hold on. Chin Ching. 
How can you drink a cold beverage at a time like this, huh? Lin Lin, you should pour her a warm cup of water. Okay. <sighs> oh. oh, I'm sorry, these kids lack common sense. <laughs> Honestly, Mrs. Tian, when we first found out that Suo here is your son, we were very much surprised. Oh. So what about you, huh? Were you as surprised as we were? Oh, yes, definitely. <laughs> it turns out our families have quite a unique connection, don't you think so too? Oh, you can say that again. At first, I thought it was quite coincidental. I'm sure you're aware of our family situation. I was afraid Chen Qing might not accept it. Don't say that, <laughs> Mrs. Qian. As long as they love each other wholeheartedly, share the same values, understand each other, and are accepting and supporting of their respective careers, then that's enough. <laughs> Your son is resourceful and responsible. I believe that he has a bright future ahead of him. Absolutely. As long as these two love each other and are at peace with each other. Oh, Mrs. Tian, I know that Qin Qing had caused you a lot of trouble when she was young. But as you can clearly see, oh. now she's becoming more and more mature. And now when it comes to her career, she's rather diligent and serious. In fact, as her parents, we honestly didn't expect such an achievement from her. As we watched her grow up, we didn't want to pressure her, and our biggest wish was just simply for her to find a suitable partner, mm -hmm. for her to establish a family and live happily ever after. Oh, That's all we wanted. Yes, of course. All we want is for them to be happy. <laughs> oh, since you've already consented to it, I think that we should settle the date as soon as possible. It's really hard to reserve a hotel for a wedding venue these days. That's right. Don't wait until Chin Ching starts showing. It'll be inconvenient. Mom? That's basically the situation. I'm sorry. I should have told you about it earlier. Well, if you had done that, I wouldn't have gone there in the first place. Mom, don't be angry anymore. Mrs. Tian actually treats me well. Oh, really? If Zuo hadn't lied to her, would she have agreed? And besides, <sighs> given your situation, you're far too good for her son, you know, yet she still finds you troublesome. No, 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 she doesn't have an opinion of me. She's only afraid about how others might think they're only climbing the social ladder with us. That's why she hesitated. Oh, please, don't even try speaking Calm for down, her. Calm down, my dear. No matter what, Zuo Lin is a nice man. As long as they love each other, it's all right. There's no need to kick up a fuss. I don't think I'm being fussy. I'm afraid our daughter will end up getting hurt. <sighs> Mom, relax. I'm not gonna get hurt, okay? After getting married, we're going to live on our own. And besides, with you two behind my back, who would dare to hurt me? Am I right, Dad? <sighs> hmm. Hit me. If you're angry, then hit me. Come on. Silly girl. You're such a fool, you know. 